What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how you can get Game Boy, Super Nintendo, and N64 emulators directly on your iPhone so that you can play any single game that came out for these devices back in the day. And this allows you to play them flawlessly, lets you save the game full with sound, and uh, just like the real thing, and carry it in your pocket everywhere you go. As you can see, um, I am on iOS 13.3 with an iPhone X, and this is working flawlessly, and it is fairly easy to do. So the first half of this process is using a computer, so I'm gonna jump over to my Windows PC right now, and I'll show you guys how to do it over on that screen. Okay, so here we are on the computer, and while this process is fairly simple, um, I actually ran into quite a few problems when I was doing this for myself. So I'm gonna walk you through all the problems that I had, and hopefully prevent you from running into them when you are doing this yourself. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the link in the description to open up the Alt Store website. Um, this should be the first link in the description, and it should be altstore.io. Once you're here, go ahead and download Alt Server for either Mac OS or Windows, whichever device that you have. I have a Windows, so I'm going to click on Windows Beta, and as you can see, it will start downloading, and wait for that to finish. Once that is done, head over to your download location and extract this um, with either WinRAR, or if you're just using Windows Explorer, you can extract it or just go inside the file. So once you have this extracted, go ahead and open up the folder and double click on the setup here that'll install this program and click next all the way through and once it says installation is complete go ahead and close out this and you can actually close the folder as well so now that you have alt server installed on your windows computer go down to the windows button and search for alt and it should come up alt server here go ahead and click on that so after you have clicked on alt server on your computer it won't look like anything is happening. However, the server is actually running in the background of your PC. So before we get started with that, go ahead and plug in your iPhone into your computer. And uh, once you have that all connected, go down to the bottom taskbar here and click on the little diamond icon that you see. If you don't see it right away like mine, click on this uh, show hidden icon button and you should see a diamond. I actually have two here um, at the bottom taskbar. So once you see this, go ahead and click on it and you should see an option that says install alt store if you don't see your iphone actually here on the right you need to go ahead and download itunes from the apple website this is a problem that i ran into i'll put a link below uh, for the uh, itunes for windows download links um, so go ahead and download those directly from Apple, not the Microsoft Store. And once you have that downloaded and installed, it'll ask you if you want to download and install iCloud for Windows. You will also have to do that. So install iTunes for Windows and iCloud for Windows. And then you should be able to see your phone under this page uh, when you're installing All Store. Once you see this, that is a very good thing. Go ahead and click on your device. And now it's gonna ask you to sign in to your Apple ID and password. Um, as it says here, passwords are not saved and they're only sent to Apple for authentication. So don't worry about sending them uh, your info here and just type in your email address and password. I'm going to uh, skip this to the next step so you don't see my information. If you get an error after trying to log in on this page saying two-factor authentication has been enabled, you will actually have to create a new Apple ID without two-factor authentication enabled. So this is pretty easy to do. Um, head over to iTunes on your computer. And at the top, click on account, click on sign in. And here you can click create new Apple ID. So go ahead and complete that process. When it comes up asking you to enter your credit card information, there should be a little button on the right hand side that says none. So you can actually skip entering your information again on a different account. Um, this doesn't have to be an account that you use in the future, it just needs to be uh, enabled to log in on this page and get you to the next step. So if you get that error like I did, just go ahead and create a new Apple ID and enter it in here and click install. So after you typed in your correct information and password, you should see installing Alt Store to iPhone down here on the right. That means it is heading over to your iPhone and you should be pretty much done with your Windows device once this uh, says complete. Once it says installation succeeded, you can now head back to your phone and uh, the rest of the installation will be from your device itself. Okay, so here we are back on the iPhone and if everything has been successful for you, you should see a new app here called Alt Store. That is the app that we were trying to get 
on the computer to the iPhone. So once you have that, it is a very good sign. Um, you won't be able to open that right away. First, you'll have to head over to settings, scroll down to general, scroll down to device management and click on the email address or developer app that you see here and go ahead and click verify. This will let you uh, open this app because it did not come from the app store. Um, so once you have done this, you can head back to your home screen and open up the alt store. Once you're inside the alt store, um, just go down to the browse button and you should see this app called Delta. This is the emulator app that we're trying to install. So just go ahead and click on the free button there to download it. Um, you do need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your laptop, which has Alt Server installed onto it. Once you have that, it should say Refresh Alt Store, so click Refresh Now, and wait for this to complete. Once the refresh has been completed, you will see the Delta app being installed from the Alt Store as we were before, so wait for this to install. Once the Delta app has been installed, you should see an open button beside it. So you can either click on that to open up Delta and click open here, or you will also see the Delta app on your home screen. So open that up. Again, you will see the untrusted developer error. So same thing as before, head over to settings and go to your developer apps here. Click on the one that is new and click on trust. Trust again and this will let you open up that app. So head back over to Delta and open it on up. And now it should be working. The first thing you'll notice is there are no games installed. So you'll have to find different games and ROMs yourself if you wanna be able to play them. Um, I'm not gonna send you a link or anything like that as it is illegal to share that information. Um, but what I found is if you search a game and the word ROM beside it on Google, you should be able to find uh, different ROMs available for download on the internet. So I actually have one downloaded here. Once you have it downloaded, um, make sure you have the Files app installed onto your computer or onto your iPhone. Okay, so once you have the Files app installed, you should be able to click the plus button up here and click on Files. And here you should be able to see whatever game that you downloaded. I have Pokemon Emerald. Um, if it's a .zip, that is okay. So we'll just click on that. And now my game has been loaded into my game library. I will never have to do that addition or download the game again. Um, anytime I open up the Delta app, all of my games that I have entered will be here. So once you have the game installed onto the Delta app, just go ahead and click on it and it will load up flawlessly. You can now play the game without any problems, you can save the game. You can also do a quick save feature by clicking this little menu button down at the controller on the bottom and click on save state. Click on the plus button. And now anytime I load up this save state, it doesn't matter if I click save in game or not, it will be in the exact location where I clicked save state at. So this lets you save the game much more often than you normally would on a normal Game Boy or N64 um, and uh, it works very well. If you like this video and you wanna see more content like this, hit the like button below and hit subscribe.